In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to take your real estate speed wraps from looking all jittery like this to nice and buttery smooth just like this. What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. My name is Jonathan with Flux Media. And if we're just meeting for the first time, my goal here on YouTube is to help other real estate creatives making money doing what they love, which is creating content. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, consider subscribing down below. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. As you can see, we're here inside Premiere Pro and I have two clips here. So I have an in clip, which I've already labeled on my in and out points. So I'm going to go ahead and play this back. So as you can see, this is a typical clip of what I would take of an exterior, just walking all the way up to the door until I can't anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and take that clip and I'll put it on my timeline. And let's go ahead and play this one back as well. So as we can see, we walked right through the doors, right into the living room here. I did a little spin around and then once again, I walked over towards the dining room to kind of show how the whole room connects to one another. So I have my in and out points there. So I'm going to grab that clip and I'll bring it over to my timeline. And what I like to do to make the footage just a little bit smoother is I add some warp stabilizer. This is going to take it from looking all jittery where you can see the footsteps in the footage and make it nice and smooth. So I'm going to come to the effects panel. I'm going to go ahead and type in warp here. I'll highlight both of these clips and I'll put warp stabilizer right over them. I'm going to go ahead and click on this first clip here and I'm going to go over to the effects control panel. And as you can see, typically when you put warp stabilizer over a footage, it's going to put it at 50% by default. This is a little higher than we want. Sometimes it can look a little bit too fake. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and I'll bring it down to 11. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the other clip as well. So this could take a couple minutes just depending on how long the footage is so we're going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit cool time has passed so now let's go ahead and take a look at how the footage looks now so the difference is very very subtle from what we had before it's just a little bit smoother but as you can see it's nice and smooth we walk right up to the door and then the next clip will start right at the inside of the door play that one back All right. All right, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be making changes to the speed remapping on both of these clips. But if I were to go in here, hit time remapping and speed, and I try to make adjustments to the clip, warp stabilizer is not going to let me do that. So we're gonna go and undo those changes. So instead, what we're gonna to have to do here first is we're gonna go ahead and right click. We're gonna go up to nest and we're gonna hit okay. What this is going to do is essentially going to take our footage and put it in another box. So any changes that we make to this clip won't affect the original footage. So as you can see, if I double click here, it opens up another sequence and there's our original footage unchanged. So we'll go ahead and close that and we're going to go ahead and nest the other clip as well. All right, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and right click on this little FX on the footage. I'm going to go down to time remapping. And I'm going to select speed. And now we want to find an appropriate endpoint at which we want the footage to start ramping up. So let's go ahead and play this. And I think I want to start it right about here. So I'm going to go ahead and hold command down on my keyboard. You can see my cursor changes to add a little plus when I do that. I'm going to go ahead and click right there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this little handle. I'm going to slide it all the way over to the end. What this is doing now is essentially I'm telling Premiere Pro I want my footage to not just change speed abruptly like that from 100 to 700%. I want it to gradually go from 100 to whatever percent I'm taking it to. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit more. I'm going to grab the end piece of the footage and I'm going to speed this up. Typically my sweet spot is about 900% or so. So once I get to about there, I'll go ahead and leave that. And let's go ahead and play this back and see how it looks. Cool. That looks pretty good so far, but it looks a little bit jittery to me. All right. So now what we're going to do guys to get rid of that jitter, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit so you guys can see better. I'm going to go ahead and click on these handles here. So this little cursor appears in the center. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. 
And I'm gonna take my cursor and I'm gonna put it over this little pan handle in the center. When I do that, you're gonna notice a little circle next to the mouse. So that no that lets you know that you got the pointer right. So you're gonna go ahead and grab that, click down, and just go ahead and slide on over. So as you can see, it turns from a vertical pan handle and it kind of slides over. So it's telling the footage to just gradually ease into the speed. So let's just go ahead and watch that back now. And I think that's looking much, much better now. All right, guys, so now that we got the first clip out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to the second one. Essentially, all we're doing is the same thing that we did to the first clip. We're just doing it at the beginning of the clip instead of the end. Let's go ahead and find our point at which we want the footage to start slowing down. Let's go ahead and play this back. And I think right about there is where I want it to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the FX, go to time remapping, hit speed, hold command down on my keyboard. I'm going to put my point right there. We're going to take our cursor over these handles. I'm going to slide it all the way over to the beginning. And as I raise up the speed on this clip, I want the length of the speed remapping to match the length of the first clip more or less. So let's go ahead and take this up. And that looks good right about there at about 1200%. So as we can see, if we zoom in here, the length from here to here is about as equal as it is from here to here. So let's go ahead and play it back and let's see how it looks. So as we can see that first clip there was a little bit too jittery to, for my liking so what i think the issue is here is that i did the speed ramp a little bit too fast so we're gonna have to cut back on the speed a little bit to make it a little bit smoother so let's go ahead and jump in here and i'm just gonna go ahead and grab this and i'm gonna bring the footage down more and we'll bring it back down to match about what we had before at about 900 percent as with the other clip let's go ahead and play this back one more time And I think that's looking a little bit better now. So although I think it looks a little bit better now, I'm liking the way things are looking. I do think it is a little bit jittery. So we're going to go back in and we're going to grab that pan handle and let's smooth things out a little bit more to kind of tell Premiere Pro that we want to ease into our speed ramp more. So we'll go ahead and play that back now and let's see how it looks. Beautiful. Now that that little entrance is looking a little bit better now, I'm going to go ahead and add another speed ramp onto the second footage just to give it a little bit of an enhancement. So let's go ahead and play this back. And right at the point at right where I stopped there, I'm going to go ahead and add another marker. And let's go ahead and keep playing. And I'm going to speed through all of this up until I get about right here. So I'll add another marker there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab the end piece of this one. I'll take it to the center where these two meet. And I'll do the same for this one. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up by about 300 to 400% or so. I'll go ahead and grab that pan handle in the middle, ease it in, do the same for this one. Let's go ahead and play this back and let's see how it all looks all together. So that's it guys, creating speed ramps is just as simple as that, it's just a couple quick steps. It is a little bit tedious in the beginning, but once you start using it more and more, you get a hang of the steps and you really start creating them just like that, like clockwork. So if you guys have any questions or any concerns at all, feel free to leave a comment down below, I'll try to get to it. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching, have a good one.